Hi friends, you are back with me, uh, Professor Girish Kukreja. Today, what we'll be talking about is some of the calculations related to molecular biology. Like we have been uh, studying the central dogma of molecular biology, where your DNA gets uh, like uh, transcribed into your RNA, and then RNA uh, gets translated into proteins. But then many of the times we are faced with uh, some questions in the examinations, which deal with like uh, if this is the molecular weight, then uh, what would be the uh, number of uh, what you call as a basis which would be present in the DNA and vice versa. So yes, without wasting much time let's let's go ahead and see what the question we have today yes we have that you consider a single standard dna which is having around 6000 bases right so it's a single standard so i have not talked about base pairs uh, don't be too technical uh, i'll be like um, using some simple simple formulas i'll not be uh, very specific but then yes we'll we'll have a broad overview of like how to solve these particular questions okay so you have a single standard dna with around 6000 bases right so what 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 would i do with this right i don't want to do anything with this but then still Oh, what what they want to know from this they want to know what is the length of the polypeptide it will code yeah so let us hope that it codes for a polypeptide <laughs> so as i told that keeping aside all your introns and exons and splicing and the end codon and the stop codon like keeping apart from that like broadly we'll see like what would be the length of the polypeptide it will code okay uh, the molecular weight of the protein uh, which is formed out of this so you would like to know that what would be the molecular weight of the protein which would be formed from this and then what molecular mass of this protein would be there in kilodaltons okay so let's go one by one <laughs> so uh, 6000 bases right so we have around 6000 bases what would be the length of the polypeptide it will code like when we were in our lower standards we learned that the uh, genetic code is triplet so if i am having say three bases on my dna or on my rna it codes for one amino acid so the ratio is like three bases is equal to one amino acid so if i want to know that uh, how many amino acid long this would be so uh, 6000 bases let me go for a part so i have around uh, 6000 bases not around exactly 6000 bases so length of the polypeptide let me divide this by 3 right why because I told that the genetic code is triplet and you know that it is U U U it is A U G and you also know some nonsense codons like your U A G U G A and tell me the third one <laughs> so um, the 6000 bases right so 6000 bases divided by 3 this comes to around 2000 amino acids right so i have um, this particular polypeptide which would be around 2000 amino acid long quite long enough <laughs> so what would be the molecular weight of this particular protein which is formed so 2000 amino acid i don't know which amino acids are present i'm glad i don't know it would have made this problem more complicated <laughs> so uh, 2000 like when it is 2000 but I know uh, the average uh, molecular weight of each amino acids you also know it I know that it is around 110 so like if it is 2000 amino acids each amino acid weighs around 110 Dalton so this would be 2 lakh 20,000 if I'm not wrong Dalton's right so the MR as I told it would be the molecular weight relative molecular weight would be around 2 lakh 20,000 right so uh, they have asked the molecular weight of this protein, the molecular mass of this protein in kilodaltons. So again, we know this simple relationship like 1 kilodalton is equal to 1000 daltons. Yeah. So simple like if I go for 220,000 divided by 1000, so I have a value of around 220 kilodaltons. So I am here done with it as I am done with it you are also done with it so here we have, we have the answers so length of the polypeptide it would be uh, 2000 what you call as amino acid remember you are going to tell me the third stop codon <laughs> the molecular weight of this protein would be 2 lakh 20,000 if I am not wrong yes if I am wrong you can correct it <laughs> and what would be the molecular mass of this particular protein in kilodaltons so it is 220 kilodaltons done with it so the second one now they want it in the reverse way as I told vice versa so I thought that why not take it in the reverse way also so for a 30 kilo Dalton protein uh, which is obviously a single polypeptide in this case as they have told how many bases of your single standard DNA would be needed to code it exactly the reverse way now now you started from a DNA and you came to the protein and came to its molecular weight in kilo Daltons. now you have started from the kilo Dalton of your protein and you want to know how many bases they are they should first decide what they want exactly <laughs> they, they want us to learn <laughs> so 30 kilo Daltons, right so 
going exactly in the reverse way. So if I have uh, say 30 kilo daltons, let me convert it to uh, like the relative molecular weight daltons here. So it would be 30 multiplied by 1000, right? So I have 30,000. So this relative molecular weight is around 30,000. So now I would like to know that um, how many amino acids uh, would be uh, coding for this 30,000 kind of a thing. So for that I'll have to divide with the average molecular weight. As I told, exactly reverse I am going. So here I uh, divided by 1000, there I multiplied by 1000, here I multiplied by 110, so here I divide it, right. <laughs> so to find out the uh, number of amino acids now, I divided by the average molecular weight of the amino acids. So 30,000 divided by 110 please do it for me <laughs> something around 272.7 or something like that so uh, let me take a round figure of around 273 so yes you have around 273 what you call as your amino acids right so number of amino acids which would be present here in this particular protein would be around 273 now you want to find out the number of bases right so you want to find out number of bases now as i told it was a triplet it is a triplet, it will remain a triplet, <laughs> probably till we discover something new. Uh, so here we have these number of bases, so 273 amino acids are there. So here when we were going from your uh, bases to the amino acid, we divided by 3. Here we are going from amino acids to bases, so each amino acid 3 bases. So it would be 273 multiplied by 3. Can you please do this simple multiplication for me? I know you won't. So it is 3, 3, 9, 3, 7, oh, let me go, 3, 2, 6, 7, 8, 810 bases locked. So here you go. So the number of bases which would be required for this would be around 890. So stay tuned with me, Professor Girish Kukreja for more in microbiology, molecular biology, biochemistry and like lot of stuff. Probably you can send me in the comment box like you want more videos on which particular topic. Sometimes I get confused like what should be taught to the students. So if I can get good some specific replies that on what you would like to see me sharing my views uh, that would be really helpful to me. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.